On the Colts Watch tonight, a journey to the past. Carson Wentz didn't make it to Indianapolis on his own. There's only one place this story can start. Charlie Clifford takes us to North Dakota. Before Frank Reich's first call to Carson Wentz, connecting the Philadelphia Eagles to their second overall pick in the 2016 draft. Carson. Coach Reich, what's going on? Hey, man. Congratulations. Two personalities clicked. Coach Reich, you know, I'll never forget when I was uh, working out up in Fargo, North Dakota before the draft, and it was just instant. It was an instant that we just had this connection. Wentz's reunion with Reich billed as a fresh start. Chance to take the former three-sport high school athlete back to a place where football simply meant fun. The hot ticket is, is high school sports. I mean, people love their high school sports in Bismarck. Um, and they, they love to, to have pride in their high schools. His senior year, we were the, the state basketball champions at the, at the highest level. He was a banger, let's put it that way. Very talented in baseball as well, uh, first base pitcher. But I think his heart always was a little uh, more set on uh, seeing what the uh, experience in football could bring him. Due to playing only nine varsity games at quarterback, Wentz's arrival at North Dakota State, quiet even for Fargo. But Reich's former Buffalo Bills teammate, Phil Hansen, saw firsthand in the radio booth. This story was about to change. Wentz in the end zone! The Bison retakes the lead! The evolution of Carson came when, when, hey, this guy might be able to play in the NFL. Well, even when I was kind of a naysayer at the beginning, I don't think many people were believers. Probably myself included, but he opened that door wide open. And now, for the first time in Carson Wentz's career, a door has been shut. Instant stardom in Philadelphia ends with a rocky exit with the Eagles. The only question in Indianapolis, can Wentz rediscover himself with the Colts? We're excited for this new opportunity and, and hopefully to, to start building something special here in Indy. He's a leader of men, and uh, I think what he's going to bring to Indianapolis is something that uh, a typical NFL quarterback should bring to an NFL team. Good luck, and, and we'll certainly be watching. Um, I guess that would be the message. Uh, you know, I think the best is yet to come. North Dakota, come on down. This story started with you. Charlie Clifford, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Everybody starts somewhere, right? Yeah, it's neat to see their past. You I know, love because it. Because it shapes so much of who they are today. So I love that. That's a great stuff. little inside look, Charlie. Thanks. Mm -hmm.